how you doing? Thank you so much for being here. It's Saturday, it's morning where I am, but it could be afternoon. And today it is service day. We're gonna do a little bit of life language from whoever is meant to be here. And at the same time, if you have questions from your guides or you are needed healing, Please, you guys can request it, and then it will be done. We are going to go with the flow. The most specific the questions, the better it is for me to give you the most accurate answer. If the question is very general, the answer will be very general, but it's up to you. And if you are needing healing, you guys can request and you will tap in and do a little bit of healing specific gift for you. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about <laughs> how I'm feeling the energy, how it's going on. And I'll give you guys a few minutes to let me know if the sound is okay. There are new things coming from Inclined Frequency on 2022, a little bit of housekeepings. I'm going to organize, I know we do have the healing light language meditation circle that is 5.55 a.m. and p.m. mountain time, that is a meditation, but I'm going to add, I'm not sure if it's going to be one day a week, a light language class that is going to be free, and if you guys think it's a good idea i'm not being able to see the comments but i'm going to check her out what i'm open to have suggestions about what time what day i was thinking that friday or saturday or sunday thinking for the people that work in this light language class that is going to be open for whoever that would like to send in a free i would like to incorporate a little bit of being conscious about the body, how you connect, and how you open your channel for life language. And this is going to be a service. I have been having this idea for a while. My guys are insisting, and because I got sick on December, I put it delayed, but I will open for suggestions for the time, the date, and probably it's going to be like 20 or 30 minutes live service or pre-recorded, I'm not sure, but uh, I'm gonna let you guys know where this class is going to start. The way short class is going to start February, the ones that have already signed it uh, are going to receive the material the first, and then around the middle of February, we're gonna start scheduling our mentoring session with me, that is going to be like an hour. And the first month is going to be manifestation. And what manifestation? Because we're starting a new year and we always have things that we would like to manifest. Maybe the love of my life, maybe the job of my life, maybe the income that I desire, maybe a change. Maybe I would like to quit drinking or being more fit or taking up with my body, whatever that it is our intentions we normally begin those intentions when we start a new cycle that in this case is 2022 and then at the end is a time for us to take an inventory about what we were able to uh, manifest that what we were successful and what things could have been procrastinated for long i have been working on manifestation for i think since November, trying to download how this is going to be because manifestation, the way that it has been unloaded to me, it's not supposed to be from the place of lack or effort that um, I feel inferior or poor or unworth it or I have negative beliefs about what I would like to manifest because abundance is not only money. We exchange love, we exchange connection, friendship, um, material things. We exchange many things during our day with ourselves and with the ones who are with us, whether we do it online or in the physical. So it's going to be most about how to tune into what you are ready to manifest in the moment because 
for what I understand for new for fifth dimension or new earth is going to be instant manifestation. And many of us would have been experiencing instant manifestation, whether we manifest karma or dharma or good things. So this is going to be the mechanics or how the energy engage, how the light and the shadow works together to manifest in reality because everything we think it goes through a filter of feeling and throughout that filter it will become a code or a pattern that it will be distorted or harmonized this is something that i see at the energy level and i have been practicing for a while but now i am going to put it together i know i have done a abundance course before this is going to be simplified in a very simple way that you guys will just download and whatever you are ready is going to unfold for you while you listen the channel videos that I'm going to send for the ones that are in the course. And we are going to practice it throughout the whole year. The ones that uh, are going to be with me in the class, the most important thing that I would like to teach this time it is how we can tune into my higher self, my inner being, my guys, my spirit, whoever you want to call it, and how I can download what I need in the moment, whether that comes from my Akashic Records, light language, healing, channeling, so I become my own leader. Does that make sense? Whether I'm going to work and do it for others, or that is going to serve me for my own journey. And what... This is part of my intention. It's something that I do for myself, but 2022 is going to have for my own guidance and in my timeline, because maybe you guys have another timeline, lots of unexpected tweets, lots of surprises, things that are going to come and maybe pull us out of our comfort zone. Especially the six the first six or seven months are going to be very intense economically, government alike, politically, maybe weather alike. And the intention it is that we find the leadership within ourselves so we can therefore create community. And those communities, those friends, those connections we're all doing through Facebook, through Telegram, to groups in my town with my family or in whatever way I feel guided, those communities are going to be the initiation of New Earth. Guys, New Earth, it's all about community. It's not about what I am, how many likes I have, how much my language I can channel. It's about how we I can connect with my reality and my reality teaches me something that I may be lacking and eager to explore. Does that make sense? So it's all about the exchange, what I am tuning in and life is showing me, and what, most importantly, I can create. I am created now, and I would like to become. So I provide the solutions, and I'm inspired to rectify, I think the word is solutions, for what we are all needing right now in our collective reality. Because even though I am my own creator, I do need a collective so I have a life. So I have people in the store, in the street, a government, whatever, so I can have an illusion. So my soul can experience a bowl, partner, family, whatever. So we are all my creation connects with the collective creation we're all doing and therefore source have feedback and then always always what i see at the energy level it is what wins is the benefit for all mm, but it begins from the idea what i believe is true and then what i feel is represents for me so that end course that we leave in my creation if I believe it's a good thing for me, it will be because the world that it will be around me, it will reflect that belief I am transmitting by my vibration. It's all about the energy. It's all. 
because everything is energy. This is something that I am relearning, going back into my basics and try to put it out in a very, very, very simple way because I do have things that I want to manifest. I do have desires, things that I want to do, like each of you, and I am going back and simplify my own processes for what is online, for what I read, for what I see in my own journeys and my own channelings. So I made it like a practice, a practice that helps me to be always in the best moment that I can be and then go on with the flow. I hope that helps. Whatever is going to happen in 2022 in your reality is going to be and in my reality as well, I believe, because I'm still learning, of course, like each of you, is going to be determined by the intentions I'm setting, what I believe is going to expect. If I am listening to channelings that says that aliens are going to come this year, maybe it will happen in my reality. Maybe something I like because it's what I believe. If I believe it all work out, it's going to be a good year, the astros are my favor. I'm going to have luck. It will be because it's where I am streaming, what I am emanating from my vibration and what I am matching outside of me. I hope that makes sense. We're not all in the same frequency. We all have different dimensions that we're matching all the time, changing timeline all the time. It's a little bit complicated to understand. Sometimes I still don't understand it, but it's not about understanding it with the mind. It's about feeling it and feeling that it is good for me in my soul, in my heart. I hope that makes sense. And let me see if I already have your comments. I'm not able to see them on, on the screen. I'm sorry, my English just crashed. Thank you, thank you so much. Let me go with the newest comments. You guys want me to do light language? What light language would you like to hear? So we invite our guys and the highest, highest the answers to come through. Thank you so much. Thank you, all of you. Thank you so much, Lily. And Adriana, you can sign up in my website. It's going to cost. $59.99 if I'm correct monthly and it's going to be 12 month certifications because at the end I would like to give you a diploma and we are going to learn a little bit of everything so you can be healer, channel Akashic Records, intuition, and course. Um, I'm going to post the teams I think tomorrow again. And each month is going to be a team. And I want to do it very simple because I know we all have lives. And something that I noticed in the previous courses, it's some people that didn't practice or they didn't finish the videos or they didn't complete the course. So if we don't commit, sometimes we don't see the effect. And this time, I wanted to do it a little bit more personalized as what well. we're going to have the one one session. So identify what I can do for you and, and bring your guys and then whether we activate it, release it or, or anything. And then we're going to go with the flow. It's going to be something new for me out of my comfort zone. And I'm excited and eager to go for it to see how it changed all of us lives. And I think, yes, yes, Adriana. I will. I will post tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna start, I think, with Faye. Have pain in my upper stomach sound. It's fine. Thank you, Faye. Okay, let's do the light language. Few minutes, like five, so I clear the energy. And in that way, the answers are going to come the most accurate that we can manifest and then type your questions or asking for healing and then we'll go with the flow, okay? I'm going to do a little bit of sound, sound, it's great to clear, to align because it helps 
our aura and our chakras to match harmony, whatever harmony we can have. Whether we do mantras, ums, light language, or any tool that we can have on hand. I would like to ask all of you just to tune into your own self, just to be aware and breathe consciously. Mia ki ashta kori sarashko nine atsa sakoti ge ki ashka. We have the entrance collective. Kori atari sarakuru kori ashka kiri nia ki ashka koi kiana. I would like to ask your higher self to be in charge, to lead me, to guide me, and only the highest, highest energy will be able to come through as we support our own connection and support each other. I would like to ask my higher self to take my personality of Gretel so I don't block or Effect or influence any answer on God. And just to press in in your space, let out any sound, whether that comes from the recording or outside, help you to connect deeper and deeper and deeper. And it is our intention that you only receive what you need now and what you are ready to be ready. Katushka kore saraki ashka ko otoro osa ni ashka ki ikira. Woo! We are the engines collective. We are different drivers and frequencies. And we are here connected through our joyful connection and excitement. Excitement that vibrates to the language of the light through the vibration of love and aligns with joyful. We like to ask you to breathe and tune into. And try to listen to your own breathing. A breathing light, life force, healing frequencies that will amplify and bring just what you need. Now we will connect with your own guides and higher self and only provide what you are asking for now. Bring the light, koki ateke ashka, koro mare esse, iki ishka, nihako ma ike ena. Rikuna, kushka, ko teke akuna, ko ma ete iko ite aka ashka. Breathe, recalibrate, na sai geshka, koya kiana. Hey, hi, hi, go in the hama. Heaki eshka. Reset. Breathe. Reconnect. Feel the space expanding. Reconnect. Go as deeper as you're able to. Ka ashka. Ni hai hai hui ni asai jaya. We are grounding your light through an emerald green connection. Ka ko And we are ancient tribes. And each sound will reconnect with you. With a higher frequency through the elemental kingdoms of Gaia. Asai Oikinako Ashka 
he hai he hawai ni asaya. According to your own needs. Mi ishka saha hi naha iki ishka. The elemental kingdoms are the more simple frequencies to reconnect to the harmony of the source. The trees, the animals, the water, the light, the fire, the air are always in constant harmony with all that it is. Kishka ko ite eki ate eki eshka. And you are all transmitters, translators. You are instantly adjusting, streaming different connections. Whether you consciously choose what you are streaming or unconsciously stream someone else's agendas, you notice what you are streaming in the way you feel and in the way you think. If you feel tired, you are not streaming your own soul. You are streaming something else. This is a simple way for you to know that you are in harmony with the source. So you receive your own guidance. You balance with it in alignment, clarity, softness will come. And we, the last light language, we would like to ask you to center yourself and feel a sacred space beneath your feet. Hey, hey, hi. Hey, hey, hi. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. And now we ask you to breathe and come back. Start feeling your arms, your body. And open your own. Your eyes when you are ready. That's good. That's good. I hope you like it. Um, I have a sore throat. It's a consequence of COVID that I got in December. So it may not sound that beautiful, but I think it's part of me healing my throat and healing whatever side effects COVID live in my body and at the same time when you allow yourself to go out of your comfort zone and trust that whatever comes through it's meant to be in whatever form because when you don't like language any sound whether that comes in a form of a mantra of a sound of a word they are encoded in it's a pledge of frequencies that goes beyond what we can understand or feel or comprehend. So if it felt good, I'm sure you'll receive whatever you, you need. Um, they feel like old people to me. They look like grandpas and grandmothers. Um, they were kind of like smoking, I think. <laughs> it's how they looked to me. And I don't know what tribe it was. They didn't give name. But it felt like different tribes all together. I don't know if you noticed that the sound of the light language change. And this is when you recognize that a new frequency is coming true. 
Sometimes you will see, sometimes you will feel, sometimes you will just know. I hope that makes sense. Let me go with the questions. <sighs> <clears throat> Probably I should drink something hot. It's helping me. Yes, Adriana. My idea, <clears throat> part of what I am learning about manifestation, it is when we are talking about money, it's not about the amount, it's about what you give and how it is received. And my guidance has been that I will go into you, go into more affordable, so more I can reach more people. Probably there is a reason why the page is a little bit big. My guidance, it has been going to you more affordable and more affordable and more affordable and at the same time always keep earning the same or a little bit more so or maybe one month is low but i also i do have all what i need i hope that makes sense it's about trusting that everything you are needing you are going to have it provided to you in the moment that is part of what manifesting i have learned it is sometimes i pay something and then something purchase a service from the page and then I receive exactly what I give. But it's not only about that. It's about driving and having all green lights. It's about entering a place and someone opens the door so you don't have to open it. It's about being in the synchronicity of life because abundance come in all forms. Come in form that you feel love, that you feel happy, that you feel secure, that you feel safe, that you feel free. That is also part of abundance. And of course, because we are physical, we do have material things that we always associate with abundance. But you can have a lot of money and feel poor. So it's not about what you physically have. It's about how you give, how you receive, and how you embrace whatever you are always giving and receiving because it's something we all do all the time but we are not conscious so it's more about being conscious and if in some moment during the day the exchange it wasn't good because i feel offended or i didn't like it or i felt triggered it's okay that it wasn't in the highest good but just by being aware it's a plus because next time i'm going to do it in a different way, in a different way, in a different way. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense, your questions. Jody, any message from my guides, please? Let me see. <sighs> okay, I'm seeing green light and your aura. And it's green light, kind of like a pine. Okay, so let me ask you guys. I think the suggestion is to ground more and reconnect more with Gaia. But at the same time, I think they are talking about two things. It represents a heart, do everything for love. This is what your guys say. And at the same time, I'm seeing green food. So I don't know if you feel got it to eat a little bit more greens but this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing like your body is asking you for it a little bit more green and then i'm seeing you kind of like connecting with trees that i think represent guidance and then you guys said do it all for love so work with your heart chakra i hope that helps Yodi. thank you so much for the support you are always here on the page i have the third eye open so i'm gonna do my best Rachel white she's asking does the collective consciousness impose limits on when we can manifest yes yes but it's all in the divine plan i hope that makes sense look we're gonna do it on numbers 
let me see that my frequency is equal to 100 hertz and the collective it's matching 200 hertz for me to have the job that I can manifest. That reality will be that value. So I will need to elevate my frequency into 200 so I have that in my reality, if that makes sense. You can do that through a code, through a loud language, through a healing, everything you think felt and end as a positive or negative is instantly created in your aura when i see my aura sometimes i say oh my god <laughs> or when i see other auras people that is not all the time we have every thought or idea manifested in some way sometimes there's faces guys popping up soulmates will be always kissing or hugging each other money sometimes i see when people is very good to manifest i see that their hands have gold sometimes i see that they have gold in their minds so well, you will see dark or light things we all have it in our aura and then creates kind of like a vortex it's kind of like a tunnel or gateway or light and dark all together that goes from source and that is anchored in gaia and we all have our own vortex or light and then we are exchanging all the time if my frequency is 100 hertz and then i'm talking to my daughter and my daughter is 50 because she let's say that she is negative i'm gonna instantly give her 25 hertz so we'll have 75 and this is what a healer does a healer will harmonize the field for you to heal yourself i hear never heal you never we allow the healer to harmonize the connection so we allow healing to come through and <clears throat> this is sometimes why we don't like to go to certain places or we don't feel like talking to certain people it is because that connection sometimes is not in balance and these things that happen is not something that you intend i'm gonna take some people energy i don't think so the energy will do it instantly because it's smart and it's what it is needed and then the feel it's always meant to be seeking matching neutrality whatever that neutrality it is it could be a hundred hertz a thousand hertz five thousand hertz whatever whatever matches neutrality it is when we feel good good for us in whatever way that represents maybe feel like love maybe feel like joy maybe feel like peace maybe feel like stillness and when that happened it is when we reach out the zero point field that it is neutrality so if i want to manifest that we have open contact with ets maybe i'm not matching that in my energy when the collective is ready for that because the collective is going to have an amount when we all blended our energies and find a matching frequency for source and when we all do that as a humanity we're going to be on new earth hope that makes sense this is what i believe it's like everything it is connected and is linked but at the same time whether it is something that we feel that it was a mistake or a challenge or a good thing it goes exactly aligned with divine plan the divine plan that my soul wanted and all of us wanted as a collective i hope that makes sense it was a very good question Vanessa, is there any message for me and for my guys? Yes. <sighs> okay, the first message, I'm seeing trust. Trust that all is going to be given to you. So work with beliefs that they were given to you by your family, like I think your mom. So like take an inventory about things you do or you said that are equal to something that your parents have done 
so you are just aware about the cycle the beliefs that are working on for you and the ones that are not working for you anymore and therefore you will be able to release them it's a little bit like a shadow work but connected to your family monad like for example for me sometimes i am aware that i am saying phrases that my mom used to tell to us like for example when I was always looking for something. My mom used to tell me, where you put it, go and look there. And I knew I didn't put it in anywhere. So I was just like, right, upset. <laughs> but sometimes I do the same thing to my kids. So these are beliefs that we copy from our family, Manette, because it was all we knew. But maybe those beliefs are a good beliefs, but maybe our beliefs are, are holding us back and we don't need them anymore, and we can choose to transform them. I hope that may help, Vanessa. Uh, thank you so much, Lily, I appreciate Mike, Fake, Faye. Let me see another question. Germany, thank you. Always I feel drawn to go one day, hopefully. To Germany, I have friends in Germany, and it looks so beautiful. I just see myself like riding in a bike, like in a field full of trees, like open. And I think it'll be a good thing. Let me see. Sandy, what do my guys have to say about the possibility of a loving relationship in the near future? That's a very good question because it's a thing that many people often would like to manifest. Let me read a little bit and I'm going to ask permission to connect to your aura. Okay, Cindy, your aura, it's orange and yellow like a fire. It looks like fire to me. So work with your lower chakras. With the three lower chakras of that relationship, it's manifested, especially the sacral chakra. Take an inventory about the positive things and negative things about having a relationship now. So you identify what your beliefs are. And sometimes we have conflicting beliefs against relationships. Like, this is something that I constantly here in the, in the twin flame sessions or in the healing sessions of our relationships i want to have a soulmate but I always have narcissistic so if i think i always have narcissistic i will always attract narcissistic and therefore i'm gonna be scared to be open our relationship and that is not true because there are all kinds of men and uh men that are awakening i think is very sexy the way that they're doing their own healing their own men wounds working now so they are not violent or abuse or reflected a wounded divine masculine and there are beautiful men out there and there are men that of course probably need a little bit of work <laughs> so there are all kinds of men out there and like there are all kinds of female and well it doesn't have to be heterosexual either way but just just be open you haven't already in your aura you have already that connection with a soulmate but it feels to me you have to work with your beliefs the ones that you have against and on favor so that relationship get closer it isn't settled yet. It looks like a little bit in the distance, but I think it is because both are working in your own, well, in your own being. I think the things that you're working, he is working too, but you have it already manifested. So at the energy level, the connection is already there. You can tune into your own heart. Actually, you don't have to meet physically to do that. It's something that 
light workers you can do anytime you can tune into your own heart and send healings and love and i think the best intention we can do it is i want to be ready or i'm ready for when it's meant to be because sometimes the expectations that we created against our relationship block that from being manifested maybe the archetype that we are asking in our intention is not the one that is in the highest best or things like that i think that i have seen on the session so just be open for whatever works out for you in neutrality in equilibrium in our in our harmony and then trust that it will happen because you already have it but that is a little bit of work that you have to do with your beliefs in order for that to be manifested but things things change but you already have an agreement so that's the reality that's what i would like to confirm but it's not i'm not seeing that in the near future i hope that but that can change i hope that helps <sighs> let me go back a little bit all right beautiful thank you so much happy new year thank you body of work thank you for sharing your journey okay thank you so much Lori. sun is awesome thank you let me see any updates for my soul thank you very much and that was karina badillo let me see okay i'm seeing black and white <laughs> Okay, let me ask you guys, okay, what is this about? I think it's about finding balance, finding a new balance and a new symphony, a new frequency for you and doing a little bit of shadow work. What is shadow work? Shadow work, it is the things that I don't feel comfortable doing, that I feel insecure, that I avoid, that I ignore. That I don't want to go there because it pains. But if we don't integrate our shadow with compassion, with love, with awareness, we cannot bring more light. And sometimes, if we keep being, we keep doing activations and activations and activations without releasing or integrating the shadow, sometimes we create distortion, and then the lights start crashing the shadow and then it doesn't feel good either i don't know if you have ever had any activation that you feel all drained or with headache or any imbalance in the physical body it is because we need to be empty first in order to bring the light so we are always in neutrality and imbalance and i keep seeing the white and and, and white and light and like the balance symbol so I think you're going to be called this 2022 to find your balance and your own neutrality, but through shadow work. We can heal through tuning into what's going good for us, like fun and what feels good in confidence. And this is a very powerful way to heal. But in other times in our life, we're going to feel guided to go into the shadow and then pull that up and then going through a little bit of discomfort so we can elevate and expand our own journey. I hope that helps. And <clears throat> Thank you so much, Lily, for answering. Sandra Bass, hey, how you are doing okay? Sorry for the question. No, it's okay. I lost my dear Surya Kamari. He was sick. My question is, he died from a disease. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. For he may have suffocated from the food. I love him. Okay. Um, it's a canary. It's a pet. Look, Sandra, <sighs> pets, they are the good gift for us. 
they are like half angel, half elemental, and they represent our connection to source when they make us smile and when they share good moments with us that elevate our vibration and our frequency. This is something that pets do, but nothing leaves physical without a consent for the collective and an agreement for the soul family that that soul isn't needed anymore. Even you suicide yourself or that in a crush or anything, you don't die just because you wanted to, even though sometimes people are asking, I don't want to be here, I just want to die and then born in your earth or in Pleiades or whatever. It doesn't happen unless your soul group says, yeah, it's okay, you can go, we don't need to learn from you anymore, your goal, what you need to give to us and learn from yourself, it's already complete. And when those things happen, they are always, always in divine harmony. Don't feel guilty for whatever you could have done or maybe you didn't. It wasn't meant to be. Even dead as far as the divine plan and I know it sounds awful and maybe it's not the worst that you would like to hear and maybe nothing I can hear will relieve from the grief. I lost my dog I think a year ago and it was like a baby dog. He got like four or five months. For me, it was like losing a child and I cried like for a week. Allow yourself to grieve is the best way to heal a loss, a passing for any soul, whether that is a pet or a human. And then after you grieve, you will accept that he's no longer with you in the physical form. But he's always with you through the connection with source. I hope that makes sense. He never left you because he is with you connecting through your source channel. But in the physical, it's not going to be anymore. And that is what is painful for the ones that are in physical. I hope that makes sense. So allow yourself to grieve. And if you want to, that guilt can be released that pain because if it wasn't done it wasn't meant to be period we are always what we are meant to be and everything that happens is always what how it's supposed to be according to our divine soul and our higher self and whatever plan we decide that it was going to be the expansion of our soul and we're always adjusting canceling contracts changing the things now in the physical, it's not that, oh, I'm a screw because I wanted to do this. No, no, no. That's not the truth. We're not sent here to suffer. When we decide to be here, what I'm seeing for myself and in the sessions, we decide to be here because we think it's going to be excited. It's going to be an adventure. And then we say, I'm going to be able to feel what is to kiss, to joy, to be sad, to fall, and then to stop. And then I'm going to know that I can change my reality. And then I'm going to know that I can be connected to my inner being. And then I'm always going to be in the power to use my resources. And I'm going to be able to choose what I want to do in every second. And that is going to be awesome. So I'm going to go for it. Yes. Right. It's no one that says, okay, I'm going to have to bore me because you're screwing up and I'm going to have to save you. It's not about that because at the soul energy, it's not about ego, we don't have pain, we don't feel anything, it's just about the journey. I hope that makes sense. It's like going on vacation, because in reality, we are a source and we never left. We are source, we are creator of all that it is. But this is kind of like our vacation, and never goes to vacation, oh, I'm going to go to the cruise because I just want to suffer. No, I just said, oh my God, I just want to get wasted or whatever, right? whatever it is your idea of vacation so in your experience your cannery it wasn't needed anymore so grieve make peace with it and then in the future you will have another path that is going to have the same energy soul that you enjoy so much i hope that makes sense thank you thank you so much
thank you i think i need to refresh this hold on give me a second and go back if i'm missing your question please type it again okay andrea thank you for being here any guidance for my spiritual business or in general a message i need to hear yes let me see i see that your spiritual business it's going on plan this is what i'm reading here and we're in the word slow so according to what's happening in your collective it's meant to grow gradually but it's on plan i hope that helps <sighs> Let me see if there is anything that you need to know. Confidence, says your guides. I hope that makes sense. Let me see. Jess Marie. That's a beautiful name. Just found out my good friend passed a few months ago. We'll already talk about passing, but I, at one time I was here with my ancestors. And I kind of saw that when you pass, I have seen for myself when I remember all their past life. It's a little bit painful to leave your body. It's a little bit like a struggle, like when you are born. It's not like, woohoo, right? It's a little bit uncomfortable, especially for the body, but the soul, it's eager to be released from the experience and you always have souls that you love the most that are your real family my god said that come for you and guide you and we go into whatever our consciousness think we should go but what i saw it is that you kind of like go to a school kind of like to do a review about what happened in that life and then you give the feedback to your higher self and then it goes to your Akashic Records and then you decide what to go next. No one is obligated to incarnate, we do it because I think it's fun for the soul, at least my soul, but for the soul who passes, it's reconnecting with the source is a beautiful thing that I don't even know how to describe that you don't have any pain any suffering you feel connected to all that it is and it's a beautiful thing it's pain for the ones who are left but for the soul who transition it's like happiness I don't know if I am explaining that correctly from my experience for what I have seen. Mike, when you are channeling, healing, and stepping back, do you remember the whole process? Sometimes, sometimes I don't remember. Or just viewing the process, what is like, that's a very good question, there are many questions. Question for my guys, bed food to my body at a time. Okay, the best food for your body at a time, it is what you feel drowned to what you feel cravings this is what your body is asking for but you have to allow your body get permission to communicate with you and normally body plants animals guys normally you're going to have like an inspiration like an idea or like an image this is how they're going to communicate with you okay mike when i'm doing healing that i channel I go and I become like a vortex and I heard some things but normally in the way that it is related to me and the and the I am going to mirror myself and I'm gonna have my own lesson but whatever con the, whatever connection that person is having I'm not aware of mm sometimes i am sometimes i describe it. it's going to be depending on what the person needs and what i need 
and what we all need for the session to flow because I normally go with the flow. Mm, you feel when you are connected and you feel when you are disconnected. For me, if I'm talking with someone, if I'm doing a session, I'm going to ask permission to connect to the body, to the soul, to the person. But sometimes without asking for permissions, I sense like the guys that you have already kind of like an urge to come through and I'm going to start like channeling. For me, I feel like my vision glows blurry, my heart starts melting and then I can move from this part down only my arms and right here. And sometimes only my face is going to be able to move depending on how deeper I go. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. Sometimes what I remember doesn't make sense. So it's going to depend on what I need, on what I need to know, and what is meant to happen. I have learned that I don't need to understand right here, but I just know that if I ask my higher self to be in charge and that happened, it was because that was meant to be. I hope that makes sense. I have had sessions where I can connect with a person because the person is not there yet or because it's blocked or because maybe I will feel insecure or something. I have had few of them that it feels like nothing happens. But even if you felt like it was a bad session or, or nothing happened or the person wasn't healed, it doesn't mean that it didn't affect because everything will have a cause and effect and an impact and a change that it will be what we need in the moment. You always receive and give at the same time for the same source or for another source. It doesn't matter, but everything you give has a resonance and then goes back to you. And sometimes for me, before I think I'm going to send, I'm already feeling the wave coming back to me. I hope that makes sense. So the energy level is faster than what I can pick up. Let me see if I... What it's like... It depends. Okay, this is kind of my guys happening. For me, moving like this is a sign that my guys want to confirm or want to step in kind of like a yes I see partial faces like when I have my eyes closed I'm gonna instantly start seeing lights and if I stay there still and put myself in a receiving mode those lights are gonna form faces or images or I am actually see like a movie in my mind but it depends sometimes I'm gonna do being something and then it all goes steamy and normally I have resistance and I cut it but if I allow it from the steam I'm going to be shown something but with my eyes closed normally it's one, two or three seconds occasionally Pleiadians come to me probably like six months and they will create a portal and I see everything like in kaleidoscope I think is how it's said and when they intervene like that, I have to stop whatever I'm doing and lay down like for a month and 30 seconds probably that I can see that I can do anything. And this happened to me four months ago and once in a while, I have kind of those upgraded physically. The first time I was very scared when that happened to me and I text a friend and a friend says that I had lots of demons and entities trying to install a chip on me to suck on my energy. And I was very scared. And then my friend said that he was killing them. But there were so many. And I was creating agreements with darkness and dark aliens. And one of my ex for abduction for create grace. And I was so afraid, so scared that that minute and a half felt like an hour. And when they ended, my friend and I were drained, but I was just starting um, spirituality. 
and normally well i don't know you guys but when i started i was into conspiracy theories and everything it was toxic and i had to protect myself and chill because i was doing it from the insecure aspect of me because i didn't know my connection and then the whole afternoon i felt drained i was very scared to fall asleep i see lots of chatter lots of things because i was in fear the next day a channel a friend of mine messaged me and says Pleiadians apologize because they are scared you so they step back they were fixing your third eye because when you ask for trouble you can't see they wanted to fix your biological eye but because you got scared they step back and didn't do it they are saying that if you want them to fix your third eye they can come back when you are open to receive it and i feel so stupid <laughs> and silly <laughs> that i apologized to my friend and said oh my god i just thought they were demons because i was asking my friend and he said i'm seeing shadows so the metaphor is we're going to see whatever we're tuning in does that make sense we're going to believe whatever we're influence or or whatever we are ready for and it may not be that scary but if i'm not open to interact with the energy and see like i do now okay who are you what's happening where you're coming from i don't understand clarify step back i don't like you or whatever it that happened after fury after few episodes like those that i understand that in reality i was protected all the time it was safe all the time i was creating my reality and i didn't need to be scared and when i empowered myself it was when i started being open to channel and to the healings and everything because i was in connection with my field allowing the field to express what it was happening and this is what happens in a healing i will connect with the person and then if i'll be in pain or anything it is because her pain is mirror some pain that i have had so we are both healing but it's not something that you should be afraid i think feeling someone else's lower programs because if you feel something it is because you can clear it or harmonize it or release it and when that happens to me i just interact with the energy and then said okay is it mine is it hers who is it i said from this life what i need to do to clear it do i need to breathe ground take a break does that make sense don't be afraid to use your sensitivity to your empathic your psychicness your gifts interact explore why i'm seeing this what is happening to me ask questions because we do have free will and actually we are always in charge but sometimes we're not aware we are in charge of what it is happening but the best way to learn and to practice is to go through and then just do it and then see what it is for you I hope that makes sense. It's like learning to drive. Okay, let me see if I have more questions. <sighs> I hope. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me refresh. Yes, everything is about balance because balance will represent source or neutrality because source it's part of darkness and it's part of light it's all that it is it's all that can be created but within each of us that creator of suns and stars and aliens and flowers and butterflies is part of me and is part of you so we are god we are a piece of divinity having a human experience like in a vacation and i think the importance of all of that is embrace the journey and enjoy it and whatever part we can if in some part of a week so be it allow yourself to feel weak and maybe someone else will hold you and oh, it's gonna feel so good because you talk to your friend or if you feel like crying go for it if you're upset maybe being upset is what is going to spark to create a solution so that thing doesn't happen anymore 
So darkness, it is for a reason. Light, it is for a reason. And they work together and they complement because everything vibrates in different spectrums be between light and dark. And all is part of the experience. What make witches be here? Thank you. Thank you so much. Berta. Berta Maldonado. Are my spirit guides with me? Of course. All the time. We're never alone. Never, ever, ever. It's like, will you leave your newborn kid in the park alone just because? No. You'll be there. Or you will tell your mom or the babysitter to stay. You will leave and prepare whatever that newborn is going to be and if you go out with your newborn you're going to have diapers and bottles and wipes and all that you that you will need so this is what happens when we have a human experience we are here but we always have what we need and our guys are all the time even though we don't speak to them apologize for that <laughs> We don't sense them. It doesn't mean they are there because they are you. They are you from the spirit realm. So you wouldn't allow yourself to be alone. Some people, the majority, is meant to have an experience without being connected with your guys because it can be scary because it's the unknown. And they're going to show in whatever way we are allowed to have that communication. Normally, they have a certain degree to move things in the physical so we can see sequencing numbers or a butterfly can come and then do something amazing and then we're like oh normally when our guys want to connect with us they just want us to feel love and that they are here with us i think if we need to know something and we are ignoring it, they will make sure we know it through an advice from someone. Maybe we see it in the sun, maybe we appear on Facebook, maybe you have a dream about it. But if you don't know, it's okay. But if you are meant to know, I'm sure you will know. Because in one way or another, they're going to make sure you know it, even if you don't remember. I hope that makes sense. But all those come through our intuition. And this is something that we have to exercise. I cannot be fit if I don't go to the gym and do the muscles. If I would like to speak like language but I never open my mouth, I will never do it. You have to practice. You have to be committed. Because it is when you develop whatever you would like to master. It's through doing it every day, every day, little by little by little by little, setting your intentions, making those baby steps towards whatever goal you want to. I hope that makes sense. And I think the easiest way to do it, and I think I'm going to close with that, is being present, listening to what we think, what we feel, being aware because many of us channel without being conscious sometimes you are gonna say something out of the blue or you're gonna sound very wise or you're gonna say something that you didn't know you knew so it's all connected sometimes we want to separate so we put guide soul spirit human body Akashic records, history, but it's not like that. It's all connected and it's all blended and it's all coming through the person moment, but sometimes we're not aware we're doing it. I hope that makes sense. Let me see. Okay, two more questions. Okay, Teresa, I just wanted to ask a question. I am planning on going to the United States on February 3rd to see my fiance safe yes i think it all goes on plans you don't have to feel insecure about nothing because if you do that you will create blockages along the way at the energy level just see yourself and tune into that excitement that happiness that 
joyfulness that you are going to feel and visualize that all is going to be on plan and it will be. But don't, if you catch yourself thinking that you may be not unsafe, stop that and choose another thought. <sighs> Thank you so much. Mandy Clark, I feel I need healing. What do my guides advise that I need? <sighs> okay, I'm seeing the orange and yellow, so I'm guessing sacral and solar plexus. And yes, I think a chakra cleansing guided meditation will, will do. You can request it though. If you want it, but if you do like a normal chakra aligning or heal meditation, that will do. Can I please have a message from my guys? Mokogo, I don't know if I can pronounce your last name. I will be a whole new experience for me. Okay, <laughs> okay, you have like six guys. Okay, they say that don't be afraid of the new because the new you are going to enjoy it a lot and it's going to be an unexpected but an unforgivable 2022 that it will change many things in a different direction for 2023. But we would like to ensure, and I think this is your guides, that you have faith, that you trust, that you feel safe to travel into the unknown because that uh, that unknown is going to be joyful and fulfilling for your soul and for the experience and physical yes and i think that's it <sighs> okay mm -mm. okay let me see annie from quebec thank you for being here can you see my aura and tell me what color and what my energy is? Okay, the, the aura changes all the time. Mm. Let me ask for the essence. Okay, you're, in your essence, you are purple. But right now, it looks red. I think you need some grounding and a stabilization but in your purest essence your aura is purple and when you ascend you're gonna become silver no pearl pearl like white but shiny like pearl so the purple is gonna change from purple to pearlescent i hope that makes sense Okay, Jess Marie, I think, I don't know if I have you, okay, so I won't close with that. Any guidance or message, it has been hard lately. Okay. <laughs> okay, it has been hard because you're in resistance with the experience has been for you but that resistance is just going against your source will and in separation from your soul and from your own alignment the more that you are in your alignment and in synchronicity with what your source and your human will like to experience it in time and place you will flow i hope that helps I'm going to close with a little bit of light language. So whatever healing or another guy's events would like to come through can come through so I don't make the video too, too hard. Please type if you would like to be in the light language class that I'm going to do open in the page. At what day, at what time do you think it will be a good idea to participate? And it's going to be like 20 or 30 minutes night language in a way that you guys can join if you would like to learn light language and i will take your suggestions and i will let you guys know when that's going to start 
The master class is going to be a year course that you guys will have material to study. Each month is going to be different and one session with me monthly. And at the end, you guys will have a diploma in light language practitioners. We will learn Akashic Rack course, manifestation course, soul and spirit, higher self, healing, different things. When we go to the healing, we're going to do Acturian healing techniques because the Acturians for me are the best doctors in the whole universe. And in the Ascended Masters reflection of the Acturian healing techniques, it will be working with the Biomed Flame. I don't know how that's going to be. I haven't channeled that yet. But if you would like to join me, we're going to start on February and it's going to cost $59.99 monthly. And let me, I'm going to ask you and only the ones that are willing to do it, do it. Put yourself in a prayer position and just breathe light in. In whatever color you feel guided, hold it for a couple of seconds and then send it all around you. And let's invite you guys to step into your aura. While you breathe in, adjust, notice how the energy change, inhale the light in, exhale, just being aware in whatever way feels natural and normal for you, now invite source, your higher self in. And only if you are guided, ask your higher self to be in command of your experience, to guide you, to hold you, the highest light that you are able to. So you are ready to be ready for whatever that's meant to happen, that it is in alignment with all that it is. And just breathe. And I want you to imagine, only if you're willing to do it with me, Start separating your hands. Imagine that you held a sphere of light in whatever color you feel guided. And just create it because your mind is very powerful. I'm going to do a little bit of light language. And your sphere is going to be more powerful and more strong. Kiki ate eki ashka. You could move your hands if you feel guided. Try to send in tingling sensations, frequencies, vibrations between your hands while you visualize your ball of light. Kakara. Ni na ko ashka ki asa kore. Ni ide koratore sadishka oko mai ki anaki ayase ki ashka. You can move your hands up, separate them and get them closer so you feel how the energy goes, expands and contracts, playing around. And now imagine that you pull the bowl on top of your crown. You can expand, separate your hands while you are conscious about feeling the energy. Visualize and the color of your shoes. That represents source, you guys. And imagine that your bow grows bigger and bigger and bigger. So it can hold you in. Now when you breathe, breathe throughout your crown and exhale throughout your root. And you're going to invite all frequencies you think you need now, like love, prosperity, peace. So you will just breathe. Imagine you inject yourself with love. And when you exhale, you share it with everyone else. And when you breathe the next time, 
You can bring peace or wholeness or connection or clarity, whatever you need. And we're going to do that just for a couple minutes. And the light language that will come through will help you to bring all what you are ready to receive now. Na ashka ki a eke te eki a ka o ko te ashka. Ku i a nehe ma se kori a te ashka. Bring more of what you want, of what you feel you need into your sphere and what you excel, share it with everyone else. Ke a ke ra taro soresh ki a ka ki ashka. I na ko mi e ki ashka. Mi e ki asa ko i ti ishka ko i ki na. You guys, your soul, source itself. We're sharing gratitude for being here right now, for allowing yourself to be in this place at this time. So bring that gratitude in. And when you exhale, Gonna feel grateful for being here in this space at this moment, receiving whatever we need in harmony with all that it is. Sharing whatever we receive with everyone else. And now pull your hands before opening your eyes. Put your hands in your eyes, not touching them, slightly separate them. Breathe one more time so you can see God in everything and in everywhere. If you feel guided, place your hands in whatever place you think you need. Slightly separate them from your skin. Breathe one more time, receiving whatever source feels you are ready in harmony and balance. Kia te kore mi ku ashka mi ne ki a ki ashka ko i te a ka asa ko i ni ana a te ashka ku ki te ase i ki ashka ni ana. And with that. You can touch your body and moving your fingers a little bit and open your eyes whenever you are ready, being completely grounded. And I just want you to notice the shift, but I feel completely connected. I feel completely joyful, completely happy, like I don't need anything. I feel like I am where I'm meant to be and that all is working out for me. I feel like expanded, like I don't need to force things or work things out, like all is going to be given to me. And this is how it feels when we are connected with where I am, with the source. You can do it in whatever way it feels comfort for you, but the best way is meditation. So meditate every day. If you meditate in the morning, you will notice how your day is going to shift. If you meditate at night, you will receive a lot of benefits while you sleep. But meditation is the best way to take the resistance out from the mind and to connect to the source and reset all the things we have going on and align with all we are ready to receive. And that change is going to make that 2022 is going to be a great year. So daily meditation is a suggestion that I'm doing for each of you today. Any meditation you feel guided, but light language because we don't understand. It's take us a little bit deeper in the connection because we cannot use our mind. We always can allow our feeling to give us the feedback about what's going on. And if you fell asleep while you meditate, the better. 
because that means that your mind stopped working completely and that you receive actually what you needed. If you forgot a little things of the meditation, the better, because you were not leading. We don't have to lead. When you meditate, just lose yourself. Just lose yourself and allow the energy that's coming to you to do whatever that is needed for you in the moment. Being confident that we're always supported. We always have many tools in and out that we can use. And the only thing we need to do, it is feeling good. And whatever that helps you to feel good, go for it. Have a beautiful weekend. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here. See you guys on the Light Language Meditation Circle every day in the page, 555 IMP and Monta time. And next Saturday, in the free service day, like today, 12 p.m. Mountain time and I will let you know guys when the light language free classes will start so you guys can join in have a beautiful and a magical day don't forget to smile